So here we are where I'm in a situation where I've kind of short-sided myself. I'm in the rough. I've got a bunker in between me. Now I've got to get the ball up really high and come down soft. Now this might be like uh, par five where I've gone for it in two and I've just missed it on the wrong side. I've left myself a tricky shot. So I'm gonna to have to hit this with a big, long, full swing, really open up the blade, get the ball position nice and forward uh, and we'll get the ball to stop by getting it coming down vertically and coming down softly. You know, you're not going to be able to create spin out of rough, but you are going to be able to hit, get nicely underneath it and make it come down nice and soft. So to do that, yeah, so you want the ball nice and forward, club really open, a big, long, lazy swing. And this is something you just kind of practice and, and kind of get a feel for, um, to feel how the club is going to go through. It's going to really come underneath the ball graze the ball, the ball's going to go nice and high and come down nice and softly. So let's give it a try. Ball forward, club open a little bit. <laughs> That's not what to do. So we'll try that again. That wasn't very good, but get the ball nice and forward. Nice, long, lazy swing. Ball goes up in the air, comes down nice and softly about three feet away. Obviously, I was just playing with that first one. That wasn't really me. That was just showing you what not to do. It's fine to make mistakes as long as you commit to every shot. You know, uh, we're, we are, are going to make mistakes, but as long as you commit to every shot, then it doesn't matter so much. You know, the, the problem when you get is when you get indecisive about what kind of shot you want to hit, whether to hit, you know, one that's a half swing or a full swing. Know, commit to it and hit it and if you mess up you mess up you know go find the next one and, and try and get it up and down the crowd are probably thinking well who is this guy you know um, you know what a terrible shot and I think uh, sometimes the crowd actually uh, sympathize with you because they they feel like you're more human that uh, you, you make mistakes as well and, and we do make mistakes sometimes and you know the ability to recover is, is what uh, separates us obviously uh, you know, you feel a bit uh, annoyed at yourself, you feel a bit embarrassed, but that, that's okay. You go, go find the next shot and try and get it up and down. That first shot was terrible. I mean, it's put me in an even worse situation than I'm already in. Um, you know, get mad for a minute and then let it go. You know, time to, time to move on. You, you can't bring that, that uh, motion to the next shot. You know, every shot is separate. Um, you know, it shouldn't have any relevance to the next shot, so, so don't let it interfere. I think, um, you know, six or seven times when I made a bogey or worse, I came back and made a birdie on the very next hole. So, you know, it's kind of an important stat to know that uh, you're able to really put that, that negative stuff behind you and just keep going on. Yeah, let's try this again. See if we can get it inside that second ball. There we go, just a couple feet away and, you know, that's something you just keep, keep, got to keep trying to practice, you know, it's, it's a feel shot, you want that long lazy shot, uh, swing, and, um, you know, it, it's a good shot to have, I think, uh, you know, it's nice to be able to see the ball come down, it takes a little bit of uh, courage to swing that, that, that long and, and lazy, but uh, it's a shot that's kind of fun and uh, the crowd love it.